On this I'm Debrief, presented by Cricket Wireless, we celebrate four unsung black heroes of film history and four films to watch to get to know them better. The silent film days of Hollywood offered no chance for a burgeoning black writer to break into showbiz, but Oscar Micheaux was never one to be discouraged, so he opened his own company to produce a feature adaptation of his first novel, The Homesteader. Although it was not preserved for posterity and no copy exists, the 1919 silent film made an indelible mark on history for confronting issues of race and miscegenation, cementing Micheaux's legacy as the first black film director ever. Our first watch list recommendation is his 1920 film, Within Our Gates, a retort of sorts to D.W. Griffith's racist depictions of African Americans in Birth of a Nation. Later, the show made even more history by being the first black man to produce a talkie, a romantic post-World War I drama, The Exile. Our next unsung hero was forging her own path in Hollywood around this same era. Hattie McDaniel had already written and performed songs for Chicago record labels, OK and Paramount, before moving to LA to make it on the big screen. She broke out in small yet impactful roles alongside Mae West and Shirley Temple, before landing a major part in John Ford's Judge Priest, starring Will Rogers. Yes, Lord, cause tomorrow he's got to be like Mr. Samson. McDaniel was usually relegated to playing stereotype maid and servant roles, but her vocal performances and on-screen presence transcended her time and place, like in the Broadway blockbuster Showboat, or our second watchlist suggestion, her Oscar-winning role in that Civil War epic of classic Hollywood, Gone with the Wind. Mammy darling. No use to try to sweet talk me, Miss Scarlett. I know you ever since I put the first pair of diapers on you. After McDaniel's 1940 win, a person of color didn't take home an Oscar for eight years, and it was an honorary award for James Baskett's portrayal of Uncle Remus in Song of the South. Despite a popular attraction based on the film being in three parts, Disney has rightfully locked this offensive musical in its vault, even if the film's Oscar-winning song will never leave our collective unconscious. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity -a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. However, there was a trailblazer for inclusion in the Mouse House within the next decade. Our third unsung hero, Floyd Norman, who became Disney's first black animator in 1956, starting as a cleanup artist on 1959's Sleeping Beauty. I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream. When Walt Disney spied a cartoon Norman doodled to amuse his co-workers, he promoted the animator to the story department for 1967's The Jungle Book. Over a six-decade career that is documented in the incredible and watchless-worthy Floyd Norman and Animated Life, he drew boards and wrote stories for everything from Josie and the Pussycats to Alvin and the Chipmunks and received screenplay story credit for two beloved 90s Disney features, Mulan and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. We stay in the 1990s for our fourth unsung hero, Julie Dash, the first black woman director to have a widely released film in theaters. Our final watch list wreck, Daughters of the Dust. Morning, we'll begin a new life for my children and me. While other pioneering directors like Safi Faye and Kathleen Collins had released features in the years before, Dash's 1991 release of Daughters of the Dust is the very first to be available to a general theatrical audience. Since then, Dash has helmed films and TV movies, several music videos, and two episodes of Ava DuVernay's Queen Sugar. You don't have to live in the community to support it, but it helps. Although these four barely scratch the surface of unsung heroes, we've put together this watch list as a place to start. We shows Within Our Gates, McDaniel's Gone with the Wind, documentary Floyd Norman in Animated Life, and Dash's Daughters of the Dust as well as a trio of trailblazing films like the Charles Burnett-directed Dark Turn for Danny Glover, To Sleep With Anger, Madeline Anderson's incredible South Carolina strike doc, I Am Somebody, and Gordon Parks' badass black exploitation sensation, Shaft. Damn. Thanks to our friends at Cricket Wireless. For more trending tales and heroes of cinema, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief. <laughs>